good evening to you. It's a midweek game and it's the first home game of 2016 and it's a pleasure to be bringing it to you. It's a, it's Burnley versus Norwich. Um, obviously, we're now top of the league after that uh, fantastic performance at Stamford Bridge with 10 men for the last 12 to 12 minutes. It was just a workman-like performance and sometimes when you need to when the, when backs are up against walls and stuff like that and you you're facing adversity especially away from home to get a result like that was unbelievably superb so it, everyone's still buzzing off that uh, result now we've got to keep on going it's it's pointless us winning against chelsea and getting ourselves back into this position and throwing it away against Norwich. Now, the next, next month, again, will be crucial. We've got some tough games coming up uh, later on against the likes of Norwich and Hull and Villa and Tottenham in the league. And, of course, we've got City coming up next game in the FA Cup and the two-legged game with Spurs in the League Cup semi. So, we've plenty of a good mixture of league and cup action coming here in January. So, let's go to Turf Moor for the match with Norwich. Remember the game at Carrow Road back earlier on this season ended 2 each. So let's get over to the turf and see if we can keep our winning, winning runner going against Norwich City at Turf Moor tonight. Good evening to you. Welcome to Turf Moor. A very snowy Turf Moor, in fact. Norwich in the bottom three. There was a risk uh, earlier on this afternoon that the game could be called off, but the, the ground staff have done a monumental job. And even though there's ball and snow on the pitch the referee has deemed it playable so we do start the game tonight and that's a credit to the ground staff here at turf four and to the referee for the inspection and passing this game fit so let's take a check on the two teams Burnley unchanged from that fantastic well fantastic performance well in fact one change uh, Stephen Ward comes in for the suspended Luke Shaw who got sent off in that game and that's the only one change. Frank Lampard and Danny Ings keep their places. Let's look at Alex Neal's side, who ran Burnley Martin course, actually drawing 2 2. Lewis Graben and Cameron Jerome up, up there up front. McGrandall's number 38, it could be some unknown quality. Ricky Van Walswinkle is amongst the substitutes, so too is Gary, uh, is Gary Hooper. Decent side Norwich, just in the bottom three at the moment. They do, they have given sides uh, a hard game. They certainly gave Burnley a hard one, a hard match at uh, Carrow Road back in November. But this is turf war and a very cold winter's night, and not many teams enjoy coming up to the Lancashire Hills at this time of year. The referee who did a marvellous job in making sure that the game was past playable tonight, Michael Oliver from County Durham. And we got the fluorescent ball. We have fluorescent canary shirts uh, from Norwich. They're in their traditional colours. Burnley, of course, need I remind you, in claret and blue. So away we go. So Burnley looking to follow up this fantastic performance at Stamford Bridge on Sunday with another... Hopefully a good win against Norwich, but the conditions of the pitch will make it very difficult for good football. I mean, we're lucky really to have a game on tonight. It's not just the the pitch that the uh, that the stadium staff have done a good job on. It's also the spectators as well and the gritters and stuff for the fans coming into the turf. Martin Elson, Burnley fans will have uh, bad memories of him. He blatantly dived to win the penalty in a East Lancashire derby five years ago when Blackburn undeservedly beat Burnley by a goal to nil. And Burnley will be looking to put one over him this evening. Corner comes in and it wasn't, well it was headed only half away. Norwich really played very well in the first match at uh, Carrow Road back in November. Uh, that looked like a foul, indeed it was. Well spotted there by referee Oliver. Free kick to Burnley. Coming up to 10 minutes of the game gone. A tough old fixture list that Burnley have got. 
And it's uh, FA Cup on Saturday for them. For the Currents, well, for everybody really involved in the Premier League, it's their participation in the third round of this season's FA Cup. Always a great day in the calendar, and it's great to be bringing FA Cup action back here. It's a chance though for Norwich. And Heaton half stopped it, and then it was hit off the line by, I think, I don't know where the defence was. I think it was Ward who got back there just in the swiftness of time to knock it away. Norwich, in fact, could have uh, gone one up instead of which they've got to throw halfway inside the Burnley half. And playing really well. And Heaton didn't make any good use of it and the conditions are not helping here. Anyone's cause out there, it's sloppy play from everybody here. Oh, he tried that. Almost profiting from a, a rare error from Tom Eaton, who's, who's been quite a reliable character this last uh, year or so. And here's some calmness on the field. Frank Lampard, good effort, and well parried by John Ruddy. And it's a corner to Burnley, and it's their first of the hour of the uh, of the evening. Good eye for Ruddy, palming it away very competently. And it's going to be Nabil Bentaleb with the uh, Clarets corner, and Zuba with a header straight into the uh, arms. The, the easy, it was an easy save, really, for John Ruddy. Confident piece of goalkeeping. That's the first couple of things he's had to do in the match because Norwich have really gone for Burnley from the throat. They know it's going to be a tough old pitch out there. And Burnley like to play attractive uh, football. That's a good cross. Here's Lampard. Goal kick. 29 minutes gone. I have a couple of messages on there. I will, I will keep the Twitch stream, uh, Twitch stream just moving a little bit after the, after the first half to answer his queries. And I know he's saying hello and wanting to ask one or two questions. So I'll, I'll wait until the first half before answering them. But at half, but at the moment, half an hour in. No goals, and it, it's, it seems as if with the conditions, it's after the Lord Mayor's show at the moment. But here's Kane. That wasn't a bad try, was it? But Ruddy had it covered. And that post, very covered, in fact. The conditions don't allow to, uh, the game to play pretty. And we're just thankful that we have a game on tonight, really. And the snow did come down in draws earlier on this afternoon, around 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And the snow pitches, more or less, look to me as if they're sub-zero, so it, it is very difficult to even keep your feet and keep warm on this sort of pitch. It's certainly hard to keep warm in the commentary box, I can tell you. But here come Norwich, who played really well. And that's a good tackle by Stephen Ward. In for the suspended Luke Shaw tonight. So let's look at one of John Ruddy's spine saves. This was from Frank Lampard. Struck beautifully there. Good height for him. That was a good save. Quarter kick then to Norwich and Ojeada Afobe. Afobe is uh, injured at the moment as Norwich tried to prop it there. And Burnley didn't really do themselves justice there, a bit in defence. And Norwich are in again. Oh, what a chance wasted. Well, Norwich could have been in front there. Well, we've got 42 minutes on the clock. And still no score. We are heading, or oh, hurtling rather, to, towards half time here. Okay. 
Yeah, he did well there to run a challenge of the defender. Right foot. And not very far away again. John Ruddy having to dive there because he knew that might have been trouble. Trouble in there a bit. Again, he got his angles right, the goalkeeper. Covered the post well. But Harry Kane's shot was really causing a, the goalkeeper a worry or two. Looks like he's going to end goal us then at the end of this first half. The one to try in this game now. Could Danny Inks pick the pace up a bit? Oh! It's gone wide. The whistle's gone anyway. Well, we've had chances for both teams, but still here in the snow, but no goals to show for the effort. It's a bit like after the Lord Mayor show after the Chelsea game. Half time here at Turf Moor, nil nil. Welcome back to Turf Moor, where we have a double substitution here. Ashley Barnes and Yolberg are going to come on. Harry Kane and Frank Lampard, who's became rather tired towards the end of the first half, so fresh legs needed. Heavy pitch doesn't help matters when there's snow on the pitch, it really makes it rather heavy. Nil nil in as we go into the second half, then we're going towards the Kicking towards the Jimmy McElroy end. And here's Barnes, first touch and first opportunity to see what he can do. And a good save by John Ruddy. Positive start there by one of the substitutes. Ashley Barnes, of course, signed. Not for much money from Brighton and Nova Albion, but what a good signing that proved to be. Got five goals in the promotion running. Got Burnley into the Premier League in the first place, and that's a good ball by Yolberg into the path of Barnes. I was always going to say, I was just about to say 1 0, and then the ball crashed against the boards behind the goals. What a glorious chance, and that's Barnes's second opportunity already, and we're not even 10 minutes into the second half yet. So Norwich about to make the change, and they've just met one there. And it's up front, Ricky Van Wolfswinkel on for Cameron Jerome, who hasn't, I haven't really seen much of, he's been a bit anonymous today, Cameron Jerome. Van Wolfswinkel is good, Cardiff one, Manchester United one. Just to let you know that our nearest rivals, Chelsea, are winning not far down the road at Wigan. 1-0 is the score at the DW Stadium. The DW, of course, meaning Wigan's <laughs> charismatic chairman, Dave Whelan. Bentaleb. Ings, good turn. And he's through. He's Ings now for Burnley. Is this the moment for Danny Ings and for Burnley? No, John Ruddy saves again. Well, he's having a magnificent game, the Norwich goalkeeper. Got his place back from Mark Bunn. Gets a, a pat on the back from his centre back, James Collins. An hour gone, exactly. Nil nil. Here's the corner by Bentaleb. Good defending there. Here's Trippier. Gilberg on the turn. And in the end, it was a tame shot, really. And that was the easiest save that Joel Ruddy will make in his, uh, in his night's work so far. Here's Barnes. Ings again, looking for the way through. Oh, that's a lovely skill. Oh, and then the finish lacked. A wonderful build-up, and the skill was phenomenal, and then the finish just wasn't there. Meanwhile, a second Norris substitution is taking place. Lewis Graben comes off, and on in his place... I think he's Gary Hooper, indeed it is, so another striker for striker, like for like, substitution, two for him, two Adels. also centre midfielder for a centre midfielder and a striker for a striker from Burnley as well, so all subs to us at this particular moment in time, all like for like replacements, meanwhile Norwich now on a counter attack and a corner given, and a chance for those four and a half thousand Canaries to go wild as we see another of the line of the series of John Ruddy saves that one from Ings with his feet that was quite a magnificent piece of goalkeeping so I can to the Canaries Dedelia Smith there in the director's box I can see cheering her team on and this time Burnley win the header 
but it's coming back at them again. Last side the last 20 minutes, and Burnley get themselves a very cheap throw from their point of view. Bentelard now. Barnes and Ings up ahead. So we're going to get through this storage. Forest of Canary Yellow. But here's actually Barnes. Oh, another magnificent piece of keeping from Ruddy. Uh, John Ruddy tonight has been magnificent. And, then, and we didn't get a see a replay of that. Latest save he pulled off there. Then we might have a, a trick up the seat. They're going to try the Luxley Chamberlain from this side now. John Lock this Norwich defence and it almost worked. Zuma got up, not a devoid. In fact, it was Nyang, in fact, who got up there. And in the end, no real threat to John Ruddy and his goal. Well, it tells the story that Burnley have been on top, but just haven't been able to beat John Ruddy. If there was to be a poll for any Norwich fans who have come up to Lancashire today for their man in the match, I think they'd probably put John Ruddy at the top of their list. Chamberlain. The ball to Barnes. And uh, he was hooked away again by the Canaries, who have uh, defended stoutly. The goalkeeper's been magnificent, but here they come now on the counter attack. With less than eight minutes to go. Zuma trying to get across there. It looks as if Norwich is just playing for a point or. So the thing is, a bit of a negative thing to do, but Zuma's won the ball back. And the shot into the side netting, it just allows Burnley now to get on with it. Bradley Johnson on for Ojeda. Ventaleb. Gilberg. Barnes. Still Barnes. Good skill. Barnes! And again, Ruddy with a save. It just will not go in for Burnley tonight. And all that hard work they did at winning at Chelsea last on Wednesday, it could all for, count for nothing now unless Burnley can score from this set piece. Here comes the corner, Chamberlain with it. And Zuma's had her off target. And it's a goal kick for Norwich. We've just been given the signal, five added minutes at the end. What drama. And now Norwich will attempt to try and Take the sting out of it now. Chamberlain wins the ball back. Barnes battles for it. Gilberg has it in the midfield. Bentaleb. And the referee has blown. And that's a frustration because Burnley had a good attack going there. But Norwich have got a point. And John Ruddy was the hero. Save after save to deny the likes of Ings and Barnes. And Burnley's hard work against Chelsea, all for nothing. No, it's frustrating. <laughs> and I'm trying to see the funny side of this because it's... Um, at the moment, I'm, I'm finding it hard to be funny about it, because, uh, to laugh about it, because that was... We thought there might have been three crucial points in the, in the running for us there. And John Ruddy, I'll give Ruddy a lot of credit because he did magnificent and... Uh, I don't know what we could have done, to be quite honest. I mean, we've got Luke Shaw back now for the next game. He will go straight into the side to replace uh, Ward. And you look at this injury list. I mean, now... Um, I mean, before we look at the league table, and I know, we, uh, as it happens, uh, Norwich 1-2-0, as it happened, so... We're just going to try and sign Max Gradle. He will. He, I think we might need a little bit of injection of the left wing on there. Uh, we might even get him involved. We've got a, uh, a transfer fee. I'm going to try. Right, you can bid thirty-eight million pounds for him. PSV. Not a minute more. Not a. Not more or less.
you know if you want your if you want my best players you have to play top dollar prices and that's you know that's that's the way I operate so obviously we've got to play Manchester City in the FA Cup um, at the moment look at that all that hard work to get level on points and get the goal difference and it's all been our sixth draw of the season and annoyingly Chelsea are back to winning ways again they won 2-0 at Wigan so the gap now is through points but, we, but the good upside is we're still very much 11 points ahead of our nearest challenges below that's Manchester United West Brom are, are becoming well from their defeat on Boxing Day they're now 3 points still ahead of Arsenal 37 points well done to Tony Pulis he's having a magnificent season with the baggies that win doesn't t that point though doesn't take Alex Neal's side out of the bottom three they're still two points behind Wigan uh, they didn't really do enough in fact to win the game but John Roddy well if he keeps playing like that for the rest of the season I've no doubts they might just stay up Southampton and Cardiff will be looking over their shoulders now even though there there's a gap of five points between them and Norwich but if I mean Aston Villa, they've struggled a bit, 11 points. They've only won one and drawn eight, and they've lost 12. And we have to play them next, and knowing how they'll probably go and win. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll try not to be too downhearted about it. There's going to be twists and turns, I'm sure, from now till the end of the season. I've done career modes in the past where I've been in, behind in this stage and still won the league on the last day. So it's all part of the charm of the title race. Um, we might be two points behind but you you never know Chelsea could drop points against the likes of United or City or Liverpool you don't know and that's the that's the beauty of the game anyway we'll be back for on Saturday with a cup uh, with an FA Cup third round match and well it's a tasty one isn't it we're away from home we're at the Etihad we're against Manchester City where we we're going to repeat of that classic classic League Cup quarter final where we won after extra time so be sure to join us for some cup action on Saturday. Until then, I'll t you take care and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye.